Episode 170. I'm Mumra from Thundercats. Feel my wrath of podcast. This is from Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram featuring Sean and Carlos. The show neither by Shrooms nor by Skyrim. Those are just the motherfucking parameters. And here's a word on our sponsors, <laughs> goddammit. This episode is brought to you by Sandbar, Coconut Grove, 3064 Grand Avenue, Miami, Florida, 33133, Home of the Fish Taco, Happy Hour, Monday to Friday, 3 to 7, Taco Tuesdays, Tacos Half Off. Sandbar, Coconut Grove. Grove. This episode also brought to you by The Last Carrot at 3133 Grand Avenue, Miami, Florida, 33133. They're open Monday through Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sundays from 11 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Family Family owned owned since 1975, your go-to place for fresh, wholesome eats, The Last Carrot. Hey, uh, what's uh, up, guys? Uh, well, f- uh, welcome to From Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew in a higher room featuring Sean and Carlos. Um, I'm your host, <laughs> Carlos. You already know what's up. Um, I don't know why this guy, Hiram's name, is still in the title. Uh, <laughs> he hasn't been on here in forever. I'm fucking over it. Uh, so we should definitely work on Yo, that. I also, just, coming up, dude, give me give, one second. I just want to give big props to Carlos. This is That's literally the most he's talked in 40 episodes. <laughs> All right. Also, um, we're, I want to touch down on a bunch of things this episode. Um, Miami Music Week, Ultra, um, uh, the traffic. There was a bunch of traffic, personal. Uh, Personal records that have been said today. Um, it's just been a really, really exciting uh, week, and we can't wait to fill you guys in on it and everything. Uh, how's it going, Sean? Yo, it's been fucking it's been great, bro. That's wow. I love that. It's energy. been great. That's good, dude. I love the energy. Keep it up. How it's about been you? So great. Okay, That's dude. A- it's been great. <laughs> and if you're looking for greatness, you know where to go. Um, uh, how you doing, Matthew? I'm all right. Damn. Way to bring the whole fucking mood down. What happened, dude? What happened at Taco Bell? We'll be right back. Yeah. (laughs) We need a reboot. I'm fucking tired, dude. Oh, man. Why are you tired? What was your schedule like this week? I'm just tired from this weekend. It's like some, some weekends, like after working at the club, where I just can't go to sleep. Oh, yeah, because you've been fucking hardwired all day. So I get that. You said hard. Been fucking so hard <laughs> all <wired>. day. <laughs> nah, yeah, so I've been up. Bro, that would suck if you had like a chronic issue where you're just constantly hard. That's a thing, but. Is it like, yeah, that is a. You, that you has to suck ass. For the girl. <laughs> what up? I'm just kidding. Um. So anything interesting happened at work this weekend? No, I'm over it. My heart's not in no more. I just go to work. Man, I love your attitude. And that's what we need more of, ladies and gentlemen. From Shoops of Sky with Those Matthew and Hiram. Men. Uh, men built this country. <clears throat> Yo. Yo. Dude. What's up? Talk to me, bro. Give it to me. Lay it on me. Linguistic convergence. Okay. What? Y- you know about that? Um, uh, enlighten us. All right. So lately, against my will, I've fully adopted this certain vernacular where I'm like, eh, what's that, eh? Yeah, you have. I was about to fucking mention that, but I didn't you want to make you feel bad. I don't want to make you feel bad. What, what were you going to say about it? You sound like, like yo, an you've idiot. You've been saying this a lot. Yeah, I sound like an idiot. Yeah, you, you sound, sound like, like us. 
Well, yeah, I got it from Sean. Sean's the one that got me on it. Damn, so I sound like a fucking. Idiot. I usually just stare in the mirror and go, "Yeah, dude, ha, it's hot, bro." Damn, so yeah, that, dude, that meme ha. you do with me where it's like, "Yo, Sean Davis, South Miami." <laughs> yeah, yeah, I fuck it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is here, it real? Here, this is how it goes. It goes. It goes. <laughs> hey, what's up, Sean Davis, um, <laughs> Miami, Florida? Uh, I make out with my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Davis, dude. I, I like to play the drums, dude. <laughs> yeah, Sean Davis, my Florida. I eat my boogers and I play drums. <laughs> uh, Hell Diver 2, my favorite game right now, dude. I like to play Baldur Gate and fuck a lot. I like to play balls and dirs. <laughs> balls and gates. And gates. <laughs> I uh, like to jack off to Bill Gates. Uh, yeah, Gates. <laughs> that's dog, so hard open. to do. Who the, that's insanely. No, he's fucking. That's how you keep, stay from. That I think about Bill Gates to st- to keep myself from coming. But then, no, that's you start, it. You start fantasizing him, like programming. Yeah, you know, this is where you go. It was a joke, man. I can't just make a and joke. Then, and then, and then, and then. And then. And then. And then, yo, so I went to, uh, <laughs> this is on, uh, I had to go to factory town uh, to go pick up some, uh, to go drop off some gear. And I got there on Sunday while everybody was still spilling out yeah. and, uh, it was like walking dead, dude. It was yeah. amazing. It was just, uh, it's, it's just something great to experience. It's like going to space, you know? Um, but they were just like uh, people half naked and like fishnet, whatever. Uh, I don't know. It's like a tribal fishnet hemp. It's like hemp fishnet that's from Tulum vibe and like piercings going from their nose to the ears. But like, I don't know. It's like these w- tribal festival wooks half <laughs> naked in the business warehouse district of Hialeah. It's just, it's just at eight in the morning. Sight to see. And, and the world is the world is happening. Yeah, the world's starting. Yeah, everyone's I, waking up. Yo, yeah. is half naked the same as half clothed? So, um, <laughs> so I'm walking out with a case of beer because the the guy that ran the festival, um, he was like, "You want a case of beer?" While I was picking stuff yo, up, yo, that I was, was like, a legitimate question. Yeah, I mean they're the same thing. All right, continue, Carlos. Um, and uh, I was walking out with a case so. of beer and a girl came up to me. She's like, Hey man. Hey, Hey man. Oh my God, man. You think I could have one of those snag one? And I was like, fuck no, dude. Like, get the <laughs> fuck away from me. And she was like, fuck. Okay. You're going to keep it like, all right, you're going to put them away for later. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I just like walking away. And then I could hear, all right. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Get the fuck away from me. This person's like still staring at me after the interaction. It was like 10 seconds ago. This person's in the middle of the street, like looking at me like, are they going to look at my pouty eyes? So they could get, me? get the fuck. I, dude, I don't, I know. The well, fe- that's like the, the, the chicks that asked us for a ride at Vibra. Oh yeah. No. It's like, get the fuck out of here, no, bro. No, 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 no. Are you going to the front? Bitch, you're just going to hop in any, you're going to hop in a white, truck <laughs> no unless it was you know they're in a safe area unless it was like something like a no, threatening and they're like trip? we need help Bro, I'd that's, be like, right. that's crazy i mean it's crazy it, if it was like they actually need help yeah but if it's like oh we need we don't want to walk i'm like i don't fucking know you it yeah. happens if you tried to stab me and you're tripping balls i don't fucking know you that was agreed. extreme that was a little extreme no, agreed agreed <laughs> motherfuckers are crazy now dog people are fucking crazier than they've ever been like get the fuck out of here yeah it was fucked up they didn't let Buster rhymes into factory town he's like i'm gonna fuck up tomorrow i'm gonna wait i'm gonna fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. how Friday could you not let Buster rhymes yeah. into i don't know i don't know i love Buster rhymes it's crazy why, why wouldn't they let him in i don't know there was some kind of confusion at the gate at the door and the uh, the security didn't want to let him in i'm like they're just gonna fire that dude for sure. I mean, it's but it's like a seasonal job. Like it's like Factory Town. I'm pretty sure it's only for old Miami Music Week. Yo, Buster Rhymes is good people working at Story. I've had many many interactions with him. It's good people. Yeah, yeah. I saw him. I used to see him a lot when I lived down in Color the, Bay. Because doesn't he live or he has a house down there? No, I have no idea. He I mean, had this he, green box Chevy, and he would take his son to Chuck E. Cheese. And the son was like the same age as me, and shit was crazy. Will up, will up, will up, back home, we're one. I Used to be in the Chuck E. Cheese with Busta Rhymes. Yo, I fuck with that. I remember uh, fucking 
Dangerous came out. I bought that, and, I, and my brother got the album. And my dad's like, you can't listen to this because I had the like explicit advisory sticker on it. Yeah. And I took it to school and I took it off. I was like, yeah, you can play this. It's fine, dude. <laughs> and then, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. The principal was like, what the fuck? I was like, it was a big deal. But it was worth it. You cause, can't do this to me. It's like yeah. some classic Miami shit right there. Yeah. So he w- so what the principal took me into the office and he made me pull down my pants. <laughs> and he said, show me but the wee wee dance. This to me. <laughs> you want to know the name Ooh, of the dance. elementary school? Fucking what? Uh, um, Sandusky. Oh I, oh, I thought you were gonna say. Isn't that, that a fucking vice president? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you were, gonna, I thought nah. you were gonna say Sean Combs Elementary. Damn, that's pretty good. No, nah, no, nah, Sandusky Elementary. But dude, that's uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes Elementary. You don't know who Sandusky is? You just got Sandusky. You never heard that one? Nope. Nah, it's pretty fucked up. Like, I was, like, touching high school students. All right, then fuck him. I'm glad I don't know about him. Right now, I'm watching the... the, the um, what, Are we talking about something else? Just talk with it. Just talk. Matthew? We just did homie check-in without the sound bite. Oh, okay. Um, um, no, I've been watching the, the, um, the Quiet on the Set. What is that? It's like a, a docu series. That, that Nick Lil- yeah. Nickelodeon Expo. Oh shit's crazy. Yeah, Dan, Dan Schneider. Schneider. Yeah. We've I've been known about that shit for a long time. What a fucking creep. I remember him from Good Burger now. Well, I used to so what's crazy is I grew up watching Drake and Josh, all the shows that he produced, uh Victorious, iCarly. Like that was my generation. I know. And I mean, I didn't notice a lot. I remember when I was like maybe 11 what the fuck sorry squish <laughs> when i was 11 i thought that uh team nick was a little weird because i realized that they're kind of it's there's like a little bit of a sexual more of a sexual theme with team nick in the shows fuck yeah no i'm just kidding no i sorry. even noticed oh as a kid i'm like <laughs> as so a kid i was like why the fuck <laughs> i don't know like the, we're, we're kids like uh, squish bro Stop trying to eat the Taco Bell garbage. I never got into any of that shit. I never thought any of that shit was good. I mean, I was I mean, older, I was a though. child, yeah. I, I was, was a, older. I was older by then. Drake and Josh, when I was a kid, was the shit. Yeah, but know. then when you watch it now, you realize, like, oh, they really made Drake Bell, like, a sex icon as a fucking 13-year-old. I don't know. Yeah, like, I, I never really watched <laughs> Nickelodeon. I always watched Cartoon Network. But, like, I've Fuck been yeah, seeing, bro. I've been Billy the, and Mandy was my shit. I've been seeing the clips go around on TikTok, and it's like... Yo, like some of the stuff you watch, and w- whether it's behind the scenes or not, it's like, bro, he had you, full you, on like you, foot, like kind of shit. Inside like you watch the shows. it, and even it's some stuff that is like, yo, how did how were people letting this happen? Yeah. Well, that, did you hear that his assistant or someone he worked with, he got put in prison for some pedophilia shit? Two of them. Got out, and then they got jobs at Disney, or one of them got a job at Disney. Yo, that's like exactly how the the Miami government uh, works. It's just like uh, it makes the, no the Boy Scouts, sense. the Boy Scout leaders. That's what they do. They just relocate. Man, that's fucking fucked up, bro. That shit makes me so angry. Yeah, you don't fuck with kids, bro. Yeah, and you don't fuck with the kittens either. For sure. Did you ever see that? Yeah, don't fuck with the kittens. Yeah, yeah don't but, fuck with cats. Yeah. Uh, no, I think it was the kittens. Where's yeah, the don't cats? Fuck with cats? Yeah, yeah, and they hunt the guy down. Yeah, it's fucking sick. I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, and the way that they, him. bro, but the way they got it with like the whole community looking at little f- yeah, things yeah, inside yeah. the pictures and the videos. First off, to sit through those videos is crazy. Whenever I watched it, I looked up the original video and I'd like I couldn't after a minute or so. I'm like, this is fucking disgusting. Yeah. That was horrific. Or like he vacuum seals the cat and shit. Did you see Dan Snyder's apology on YouTube? When was it's that? the most pathetic thing ever. When was it's that? Like this past week. Oh my God. He apologized? It's, it's literally just lines. And then it's one of the dudes that, one of the kids that he casted for like, I think it was iCarly. He was a DJ or some shit. Uh-huh. And he, um, he was like asking him questions, but it felt like, like a teen Nick award situation. And he was, he wasn't, he was just reading 
He wasn't really being like, yeah, I did this. Yeah, and I this saw a clip on TikTok. Strange. It was fucking bizarre, dude. I, yeah. don't, I don't know how. And then the guy asking him questions is just laughing throughout the whole thing. He's like, oh, well, something bad happened. Like, no shit. I, <laughs> Yo, I don't know how this guy staying in the public eye, much less, like, staying. I don't know. Dude, that's like, the same I, thing. Like, I don't know. Uh, you know, presumably, hopefully, there's already, like, an official investigation underway with all this stuff. At, at at the very at the very least, he's trying to be. I mean, I don't know where he the interview was put out on. The motherfucker's trying to be anywhere in the fucking public eye. I don't know who the fuck after this would still be. <sighs> I mean, yeah. he's. I'm pretty sure, unless I'm out of the loop, he hasn't been able to like he hasn't been allowed to produce for Nick. Unless is that happening still? It sh- I mean, if it is. Now, no. Not Yo, what happened no to, what happened Bro, but to let me t- Weinstein? Did he go to jail? Let me, and I yeah. Don't, I, let, yeah. Me, let me tell you something. Uh, doc, uh, uh, Netflix put out a documentary about the Boy Scouts and uh, the th- uh, the tens of thousands, like 50,000 reports of since like for, in like a 20 year span of uh, sexual assault and like rapes and sh- uh, rape allegations um, between two decades. They did a whole documentary about it, and it's even more than that. It's fucking crazy, and the fucking Boy Scouts still exist. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, so who's you know if if this guy Rob Schneider kept making stuff for Nickelodeon or Disney or whatever, you know, I mean, I wouldn't be that surprised. I don't know, but dude. now after this, I, like, I highly doubt. Bro, it. Bro, it's fucking Hollywood. You know, it's Hollywood. it's yeah, but they got to be like, hey, one of us got to go. We got to get this guy in Yo, trouble. Yeah, so, it's so exactly what it is. All, Put all the, the eyes on this guy. Yeah. With all the fucking narratives, and then in Florida, they still talking about the fucking drag queens or the drag shows. Yeah. As long as there's no kids there, who gives a fuck? Guys, people in their fucking narratives. I'm sorry. I'm fucking tired, dude. Well, you just did it. Don't be mean, bro. You don't want to be me. Yo. Linguistic convergence, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Is uh, here you want me to break it down for you? When you listen to me talk and you pick it up over time with context, I think we can figure it out now. <laughs> uh, so I mean, there's actually a whole lot of studies in this. Uh, linguistic convergence actually comes from uh, communication accommodation theory from Howard Giles, which draws from social psychology. Uh, uh, similarity, attraction, social exchange, casual attribution, and intergroup distinctiveness, uh, which help to explain why speakers seek to converge or diverge from the language, dialect, accent, and behavior of their interlocutors, uh, which also relies heavily on social identity theory, which argues that a person's self-concept compromises a personal identity and a social identity, and that this social identity is based on comparisons people make between in groups that they belong to and out groups that they do not belong to, where they strive to maintain a positive social identity by either joining groups where they feel more comfortable or making a more positive experience of belonging to the groups they already do. Since speech is a way to express group membership, people adopt convergence or divergence in communication to signal a salient group distinctiveness so as to reinforce the social identity. You know what I'm saying, Ed? No. No. <laughs> Completely lost me. <clears throat> Summarize whatever the fuck that just said. I I mean I mean I be mean, noticing it happens it happens with me when I So it just means you start saying the same shit that people around you say. Like when I binge watch a show. <laughs> that's not what I heard. That's not what I felt like you were saying. Well, for me, like if I if I binge watch a show. I start picking up phrases and certain cadences uh, from characters that I like. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I do the same shit. I used to do a lot with Trailer Park Boys. My favorite is with accent. That's probably why I sound fucking stupid. My my favorite is uh, different, like, uh, dialects of Spanish and... 
people that have accents or like imitating people like i fucking can't stop fucking doing it dude it's like a it's like a fucking like once i yeah man well you know tomorrow we could call michi and gordo that's like exactly what my father-in-law sounds like or like my boss at work is like oh okay mi amigo yeah, es que yeah. tu sabes and then i'll start doing it and i will not stop doing it but uh, but my favorite is like doing the the spanish like El Colombia, don't get push, Papa. Like that's like that's like super cute. Some Colombia, and then like a Cuban is like, oh yeah, people, people sing sing, <laughs> oh yeah, people, porque no me diga eso, you know. And when my wife's from Argentina, so her fucking Argentinian accent, I fucking love it, dude. So now when I get mad, I go, I I say vos, it's like vos es un pelotudo, you know. I don't know. It's you just, say you say vos, yeah, instead of tú. And that you just like pick up over time. Just like being in Miami, I guess. You all right there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. I'm good. I'm present. I need you to be okay. I can't can't do this on my own, bro. Nah, cool, you, bro. You got it, dude. You was fucking you was fucking carrying it on your motherfucking uh, well built shoulders. You know what I'm saying? Oh, thanks, dude. Them them that that new PR body. Yeah, dude. I'm telling you. Oh man, this morning I had a whole colada, and then I uh, I had a Celsius. Dude, I thought I fucking snorted an a ball. I was fucking flying, and I. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, why, why are you grabbing both? That's excessive. Yeah, I, and then I was printing something, rather printer, and I dropped down and I did 20 for the first time nonstop. And I, by the fucking 20th one, I was like drooling out my mouth like... <laughs> I don't even know how far I went down. It probably wasn't much. Uh, but I noticed the drool out of my mouth. I was like, oh, this is not, nice, a, good look. This is not a good look. Someone's going to slip on this uh, dribble. Um <laughs> Um, it's not the only dribble they slipped on but it felt good you know and it's felt uh it just like on the day-to-day i felt a lot better just uh doing exercising a, just doing a little bit of exercise here and there yeah uh it's really nice Bro, i want to get back on that full fucking david goggin shit where i'm like just exercising i want to get back on a goblin slogging slobbing dick dude <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Only get back on that gobbly dobbly <laughs> sloppy <laughs> dick. <laughs> the Roblin Goblin. <laughs> what were you talking about? The hot Roblin Goblin. The Roblin Schneider. <laughs> Roblin Goblin. Roblin Schneider. <laughs> Slobbing the Goblin. No Diddy. Damn. No Diddy. You think so? Hey, yo, Diddy, fuck you, bro. You're a fucking piece of shit, bro. Th- coming from me, you just suck. I hate you. <laughs> Damn, dude. I like how you say coming from you. Yeah, like, coming from me, like, fuck like, you, like, you're man. Such, you're such a fucking piece of shit. Dog. Like, you're like. No, 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 no. Not like that. I'm just no. saying, like, coming from me, Sean Davis, you're. A, I oh, fucking okay. hate you. Wow. I hate you. Man, if he even responds to that. Dude, I hope he does, man. Highly doubtful. I know he watches. Yo, you, you see how they tracking this private jet on with the the private jet t- tracker on Twitter, but they can't find him. That motherfucker disappearing like goddamn car- where in the world motherfucking Carmen San Diego. <laughs> Is he running? Right? Is he running? Hell yeah, you run it. Nah, they dog. They, it's P Diddy. They uh. He's like, eh, 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 eh. They he's raided, got crazy they fucking up money up in man. Miami and Orlando. They, they I saw the aerial shots. They had the sons of handcuffs. <coughs> um. Yo, this shit is a fault. It's just fucking man. Well, how guilty does that look? But I mean, in terms of him running, that like they're like, oh, it's private just over here. Oh, they, they made the jet land. He wasn't on the jet. Like, where is he? Like, where in the world coming, San Diego? But like, in terms of someone like that running, like trying to get to like a let's say like a country that has a non extradition tre- treaty with the U.S. That's like when they when they talk about uh, moguls and rap. Like close to a billion, you know, there's Hove and, and B, and there's fucking Dr. Dre, and there was fucking Diddy. Like, the motherfuckers got money. Yeah. That's what happens when you get money. You get weird. I hope we never get money. Guys, don't follow us. 
So we don't become because if we get, we're gonna get weird. No, we gotta. We, Sean's what I want definitely. Is like, Sean's definitely gonna get weird. No, <laughs> yeah, well, he's gonna uh, be like. I feel like oh, I'll just like, end I up like leaving. Feet. I love feet or something. I don't know. He's gonna get fucking weird. Fuck you, Rob Schneider, up or something. <laughs> you can't say shit. Sean you can't Sh- say Sean, shit. Sean Schneider. <laughs> 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 don't put that out in the universe bro i'm sorry I love fuck you, you. Uh, don't give yeah. me your baggage that's a projection yo you know how you watching like you, you saw the queen movie or you know how like a, a group the fuck is a queen movie what are you looking at bitch <laughs> narnia no one wants to fucking watch narnia first of all <sighs> movie's great i'm kidding the books are great the movie's pretty good Second of all, the fucking Queen movie about the fucking band, Freddie Mercury. Uh huh. Oh. Whatever. Overrated. I, you said you love me forever. <laughs> movie's you so s- overrated. You said you love me forever. The They're overrated or the movie's No, overrated? the movie. I thought the movie was pretty good. It was all right. I think X Men 97 was pretty good. It was. But, uh, yo, so. (laughs) 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 If that's your impression of me, man, I feel fucking. What? Like an idiot. (laughs) He did that. Yo, so this whole time I've been, I've been passing it off. off. I've been 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 thinking I sound like, I sound like cool, dude. Like a fucking, like I'm chill, bro. (laughs) (laughs) You You told me I sound like an idiot. No, I mean, <laughs> yo, but you're saying I sound like you, so why do you hate yourself so much, dog? He's uh-huh. projecting. Oh no! All right, but so like the <laughs> like Queen, like they blew up, and like Freddie Mercury was the big star. So like, let's say we blow up, right? Who do you think is gonna like fall out with the rest of the group? <laughs> Sean, Sean, for sure. <laughs> what do you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, like ego and like start getting weird and all that shit. Oh, if we if we if we uh, yeah. uh well, no, I just think it would all be too Sean. overwhelming. De- definitely, for me. definitely, Sean. Like ego and getting weird. Yeah, he's like, I've been carrying this fucking pod. It's been in my house. <laughs> no, forever. that's bullshit. That's bullshit. It wasn't no. for me having it in my house. And you guys <laughs> no, like, that's bullshit. I want fifty percent of the check every fucking month. <laughs> Man, Hiram is my fucking brother-in-law. That's what you think of me. I feel bad for y'all. <laughs> my God, it's not that deep, dog. I feel Jeez. bad for y'all, bro. You know what's going to be me. I'm going to be like, I eat my toenails. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I eat my fucking scabs. I eat my boogers. I don't give a fuck. I go, so what if I collect my jizz in a fucking <laughs> jar? Yeah, and I drink it. Dog, I am full of fishing. No waste. I don't waste anything. Yeah. If a hair falls off, I fucking eat it. It goes back into my own personal ecosystem. I bro. absorb my testosterone <laughs> to the seventh degree. I have sex with aloe vera plants. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rub my dick all over aloe. I fucking piss in the no, jar. No, you just you and s- I fucking shoot it up in my veins. I don't leave. I don't let nothing leave my body. What you do is maximum you, efficiency, dude. If the aloe's fat enough, you cut it at the base, and then you do a little hole right there, and you fuck up a slice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like a. It's like a <laughs> you guys ain't down with that? <laughs> no, bro. It seems dangerous. <laughs> aloe seems kind of risky. Man, your fucking dick will be so hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to call you Hydro Dick. <laughs> <laughs> hydro Nobody's dude. saying, what about the spikes? Bro, I thought that's you were... That's on the outside, bro. Like, is a pineapple on the inside not fuckable? Not the core. You have to decor what's, it. What's the core? Is the that's core what, like the other outer that's shell? What, that's the, way, hard, the hard middle part. That's way too acidic. Look, you, you do it as you take the core that's out. You gonna, put it in... Look, you get the core. You There's decorers. You decor it. And then you sit on the core, and then decor. You, uh, so you could get both ends going. You do a little on the front, and a little on the back. You sit on the core, and then you get to the pine- now the pineapple's so a perfect hole. Phase. If you want, you could like blend it up so it's a little mushy in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Some almond butter. Yeah, I hope I hope my I hope my mom listens to this. We're losing followers. <laughs> Just hit that like and subscribe button, guys.
Man, I wish I'd go back to the good old days when jacking off was like scary. Like, oh my god, should I be doing this? Those were the good days. Damn, that's true. You reach a certain threshold, and <laughs> it just don't matter no more. <laughs> if I get the urge, <laughs> I know there's still a lot of shame. Yeah, but it wasn't the same when you were a kid. You felt like a fucking like you were like dirty. At least for me. Felt like, like since I grew up in a Christian house, it was like you're, you're fucking you're I'm going coming to hell. And you're I'm going go- to hell. <laughs> coming and going to hell. You know they call coming and going. It's just a shame, you know, like when you uh you know, you're like, What was I watching when you're a pre pre post nut clarity? And you look, and it's like a 500-pound girl getting pooped on. You're all like, God <laughs> damn, what? dog. What did I got do? Got me again. <laughs> <laughs> the porn gods what got me I again. Do? What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. That's, yeah, you know. Was the shit solid or watery? <clears throat> I don't know. Sometimes, you know. Is it like soft? Puffy, <laughs> puffy nipples. Puffy nipples. Being pooped on. Wait, can you get like pink eye but for your nipples? Yeah, it's called pink nipples. But really? Everybody's born with it. Yeah, because when they're in the womb, they get shit on their nipples. Nipples are usually actually skin colored, but when you're in the womb, you poop all over yourself and it gets on your nipples and it actually turns that's probably what, pink. That's probably what Diddy's into. So it's pink, too. pink, he, he pink nipple. It, he, calls it, he's, he calls it the puffy nipples. No Diddy. Yeah, this is true. No Diddy. <laughs> So what's gonna happen to Diddy? It's gonna die, man. I'm what, but man, I keep thinking of that uh, Drink Champs episode where he's. Like, he I, lo- I, lo- I love it when you call me something, Daddy, or whatever the fuck. Why don't you want to hang out for my birth- for your birthday? Why don't you want to come party with me for your birthday? All right, the the monster's kicking in. I'm it- back, yo. That's what my I said. That's why I said tell my uncle. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna reorient a little bit off and get off that subject. I like to. (laughs) What subject? I like, I like a little uncomfortable. I feel like we stray from the light. I want to stay in the light. Uh, yo, you guys. Sometimes you gotta see the devil, bro. Sometimes you gotta look him in his eyes and be like, "Hey, Satan, I know you're there." Yo, you guys know what what it was uh, yesterday? Was it? What was it? Was was it your birthday? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Was it was? So I didn't realize this. Elder Scrolls first dropped in 1994. Yeah, 30 years ago, right? Yeah, so where Elder Scrolls is a few months older than me because they just turned 30. Yeah, but that first game was Dookie 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 Dookie. And, uh, Dookie 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 and, Dookie. And they, they put out some posts. They put out this sick little uh, graphic, this little th- this little drawing. Uh, is and it a little jarring? Yo, I just be saying throwaway phases, phrases, and y'all just be honing in, honing in on them too much, man. You said jarring, jarring, a little. It's like the number thirty, but it's like got like mad. It's like Elder Scrolled out. Gotcha. What? Uh, and and the studio put out this little this little blurb uh to commemorate thirty years, uh. I think I'll read it real quick to you guys. <clears throat> it's been 30 years since the beginning of this incredible journey through Tamriel with the launch of the Elder Scrolls Arena. It's amazing to think how much the series has grown and how much it still means to everyone. And that is all thanks to you, our community of players. Many hundreds of developers have spent time on the Elder Scrolls over those 30 years. As the series has grown, so have we. Still to this day, each chapter is aimed to let all of us live another life in another world. Arena started it all with the entirety of Tamriel generated for you to explore freely. Daggerfall moved that into a smaller region with political intrigue and a detailed character system. 
Morrowind took it to new exotic lands <laughs> and introduced the series to both consoles Bro. and the world of modding and creators. Oblivion brought us to the heart of the Empire, realms beyond, and all new gameplay mechanics. Damn. Skyrim let you do battle with dragons in Tamriel's harsh northern province. Dude. One of our goals has been to make sure everyone can still enjoy these games today and we continue to work on new ways for you to experience them. Arena and Daggerfall can be downloaded and played for free from ElderScrolls.com. Xbox supports Morrowind and Oblivion with backwards compatibility and upgraded to 4K. And of course, Skyrim is on everything. This year marks another anniversary. 10 years of the Elder Scrolls Online. Our amazing colleagues at ZeniMax Online Studios have nurtured a game and community that has become one of the biggest and best there is. We have other exciting projects underway as well, including the Elder Scrolls Castles on mobile. It's a unique take on a castle builder where you control your own dynasty and is currently in soft launch in several countries. We've also launched the latest versions of Creations in Skyrim where you can more easily get all the incredible content our community continues to create. Last but not least, yes, we are in development on the next chapter, The Elder Scrolls 6. Fuck yes, bro. You ever seen the trailer? The little 18 second trailer? I don't believe it until, I don't know, is it released from Bethesda? Yeah, it are. Oh, shit. It, it's like a, even now returning to Tamriel and playing early builds has us filled with the same joy, excitement, and promise of adventure. Thank you again for supporting us all these decades and all you have brought to the games, making them your own. We couldn't be more excited to continue it and celebrate the next 30 years. But that's the game studios. I mean, it's it just better. It better be a hard hitter, bro, because they have let down. I, like, I don't want to shit on that beautiful fucking moment right there because Morrowind, when I used to play that as a kid, it scared the fuck out of me because it was so, like, intricate for an open world RPG. It was one of the first of its kind, basically. At least for console kids in that generation. And then Oblivion was insane. But I remember Skyrim, when that shit came out, fighting dragons and trolls and spiders and all that little fucking, bro, all the side quests, all the different lanes you could take in the game. It was, I've played Skyrim, I think like 13 or 14 times. <laughs> it's crazy. It's just one of those games that you come back to. And I sent a video to Matt recently about it. It wasn't about like, there's a combination of things. It's mainly the story is very grasping. You're born, you're a dragonborn, and you can like access this spirit realm and you can do these shouts and you have like magic or you could do combat. All the characters are very like intricate. All the open world settings are fucking beautiful. And then the music. When that fucking music hits you and you're roaming, that's it. You just want to do Jeremy just stay Soleil. there. It really tells you it tells you about like music in that space in video game space and um film, TV, all that shit. It really I'd say it's like 60% of it overall vibe and how much you like retain how much you like of it yo the elder scrolls 5 is just so good and you know for like me it was like an age thing like obviously me and the game both came out in 94 like obviously i wasn't you know like for the longest time i didn't even realize that <laughs> skyrim was part of a series yeah like after playing Skyrim a couple times, it was like years later where I, uh, uh, I think most people started with Skyrim. That played the whole. I didn't. I mean, I didn't play. I played Morrowind and Oblivion, growing up, and they fucking they actually used to scare the shit out of me because all the different monsters and spiders and shit. So I didn't fuck with them. Oh, uh, dude. Yeah, I'm scared fuck, too. Fucking. The middle of the night, fucking uh, going, go running through a cave in Skyrim, and the fucking frostbite spider dog. Yeah, that shit comes out of nowhere. Oh my god! Dude. And they're, the sounds they make, and they're hairy and shit. Like no, 
Especially when you're a kid, that fuck it, bro. Like the thing about Skyrim specifically, like it's literally a generational game. Yeah. Hey, I'm I'm gonna switch the screens real quick. Show you something. All right. <coughs> it's got a it's got no sound. I don't want to hook the ox up. <clears throat> but I just want to so you can see see the visual. It's cool. I, I could do the audio for you. Oh, n- nice. Wow, that's sick. Yeah, uh, supposedly it's set to come out 2028. Okay. And there's already uh, speculations as to what region this is. Some people say it's Hammerfell. But uh, when when you see this, like, what's what's your what's your what's your first impression, Sean? I don't see anything. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> I was like, yeah, it looks sick, man. Yo, that that's on me. That's on me. Uh, it's okay. We got no, a lot going on over there. No, because I forget that I got your output set. To not change, so that you can see the game uninterrupted. So, I'll, so I'll be going around. So I, I just literally sat here and just watched that by myself. That's dope, man. That's really fucking cool, dude. All right, so now, now your screen changed. Now you're seeing something, right? I'm seeing us. Yeah. Nice, dude. And hell divers. Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. If you didn't have friends, oh, that was it. Now you're never gonna. That was it. I'm saying it's like a fucking 18 second. You want to see it again? Oh. No, because it was fucking stupid. There was nothing on the screen besides just a little. I'm saying a title. That, I'm saying that's that's it. But but they, that could be a rendered cutscene. You don't even know what it is. It could just be. I mean, with Bethesda, but like, bro, but bro, the then, then that landscape looked really nice though. Very nice. Yeah, it did. So like, based on seeing the the mountainous regions. Uh, people are speculating that uh, this this could be like Hammerfell. That would be sick. But uh, yeah, li- like I said, sup- uh, supposedly it's coming out uh, two thousand twenty-eight. So still a ways off. <laughs> When's it coming out? Two thousand twenty-eight. Wow. When's it coming out? Two thousand twenty-eight. Dang, bro, that's Almost literally like fourteen years, years after. The last one. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. And they say Is that crazy? And they say that's crazy. I was reading a few articles, you know, and some uh some interviews and whatnot. And they're saying they're you know, they're working on all these game mechanics and you know, the way Scott Skyrim is still playable like over a decade later, they're like, Yo, we want this game to be able to you know they I think on some level they're looking to replicate that uh continued playability and game experience on a grander level. I, I have high hopes for it, but I just I really I really hope that they don't fuck this one up. He's got high hopes. He's got high hopes. He's got I don't know high. because I played I played Starfield the last one they did which I was I was excited for but I was let down. It wasn't. It was cool. It was good. It has the whole Bethesda formula, but it's just bland and empty. 
it it doesn't have the magic that Skyrim like the whole feeling of Skyrim is crazy from the boot up screen where you start hearing like the chant the oh the shit's Yo, insane the, the, the pacing of the game and the urgency it is instills in you from the get go where you don't even have your bearings yet but like you know you got to move yeah because the second you drop in you're about to get executed and, and a dragon attacks you and that takes you to up to a certain point and then the momentum carries you where you where you where at that point where you're supposed to go to Rivendell yeah. where you can start making your own choices and with the pacing that the game has already said the momentum just carries you dude it's it's a fantastic and then all, all game. of a sudden like in the blink of an eye you go you know, to you have the whole world in front of you. Okay, but what about that first time that you had that first dragon battle? Oh my god! Right man. outside of White Run, when the Jarl's like, uh, "There's a dragon. I can you help me, my friend?" <laughs> and you're like, "What the fuck, bitch? I just got like I got like sixteen arrows and a fucking oh, so you can make friends in the game." <laughs> Yo, before that even happened to me, before I ever got to that point, uh, dog, the, my very first running with the fucking giant. Oh, that yeah. That sent me sky high. You think they're kind of friendly? You're like, hmm, maybe they're cool, you know? And then cause, just because you can't interact with them, so it's like, okay, let me test the waters. And then you immediately pay the consequences, and it's like, <laughs> okay, I'm not going to fuck for the giant. Yeah, but you got to experience that because it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> You just you just keep going up like it just doesn't Flying. stop. <laughs> and then you start learning the shout like also the whole make your uh, when oh. you had to climb up the mountain to the the gray beards. Oh no! And and the way you can fully uh uh you can fully customize your own personal fighting style. So left yeah. hand and right, and right hand. hand, bro. And I didn't know that at first. I didn't know that at all. I don't, I don't think I knew that the first maybe two times I did a whole playthrough of that game. Like, I would just press X and X and assume that the shields could go in the left hand and the sword could go in the right. And then I didn't even know that there was a magic aspect where you could do, like, flames, healing, and learn a bunch of illusions. No, you I didn't know there was a college that you could go to for wizardry in the oh fucking game. And once I found that out, I'm like, that's crazy. There's a whole library on different spells. Did you get a job in the game, too, after <laughs> going to college? <laughs> Yo, you become head of the college, dog. It's crazy. Yo, just the way you can, like, okay, I'm going to put a fucking axe in my left hand and, you know, this uh, cast a spell with my right hand. You could do dual wielding. You could do the shield and the sword. You could go full on magic, get some motherfucking robes. For me personally, I, I, like, I like to do, like, a compromise between physical and, and magic attributes. <laughs> <laughs> Ill, dude. <laughs> I know that guy. <laughs> you say Alejandro. <laughs> hey, dude, try to make it look like Alejandro. <laughs> nice, bro. Nice. Nice, dude. It looks just like him. I'm going to send this to him. Can you fix the guitar, please? <laughs> what if I put the ice spacing super? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I, you never trust somebody with eyes that narrow, dude. Can you split them apart? <laughs> How much can you split them apart? <laughs> put them on the side of his head yeah, like a horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking side profile. Can you split his? Can you split his eyes apart? Oh, it looks better inside. Yeah, that's gnarly. Can you move them up? Can you put them on his fucking forehead? I already moved them all the way up. Cheeks. Hell yeah! Clap them. Yeah, cheeks, bro. <laughs> nice, bro. <laughs> nice, dude. No, he really looks like Alejandro. No, he doesn't. Give him the tiniest. <laughs> what the Give him the tiniest lips, bro. He's sad. Oh, uh, this is great. This is the funnest part of the game. Yeah. 
Like everything else sucks. Shut up, man. I love that game. That is so scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's the scariest looking person I've ever seen. What would he sound like if you were speaking to him? <laughs> Where's his lips? <laughs> <laughs> Did they, the 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 agent sew his mouth shut? Making his chin super fucking. Oh man, <laughs> anus. All right, then I'll get her in that angle. Uh, yo, you guys know what time it is? Memes of the week. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> <laughs> take a picture of it now. Let's go. Yeah, my son is out right now. Nice, dude. Nice. You still can't see anything. Right. Slow chin up. Yes, 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 yes. Took a shit on a chest and then I wiped it with my towel and then I took a shower and I used the same towel and I cooked some chicken with some lemon pepper seasoning, peeving it, peeving it. Yeah, I'm fucking gaming it, I'm peeving. Watch me rock, ayy, put it in my sock, Melly rock, ayy, what you doing? Don't talk to that cop, ayy. The way I shop, I don't really do that DJ's discount You already know what this about Look at her discount I'm Penis much discount? Penis discount, penis discount, penis discount, penis discount, penis discount, penis discount, penis discount. Damn, let's, get it. let's get it, let's get it, Matt, we get it, let's do it Wow This is, that's what I that's you, know what, what, you know what you, that says? Yeah, no I can't, wait <laughs> Memes of the week, aka <laughs> Carlos learns how to read Nice, dude Douche dude. It's because of the Dud- the uh, Dudley boys. Because of the about the Dudley boys thing. <laughs> Yo, sh- I, I'm learning how to speak to you, fucking bitch. What, bro? You gotta be patient with me. You I'm learning how to do this yeah. to me. Uh, oh man, I'm tired. Been All, right, di- All right, so di- di- this one isn't a really like a meme per se, but something I found curious. Been thinking about this a lot recently. Where are you on this scale of how vividly you can picture things in your mind? So. I think I'm like at a two. That's that's like, can you actually picture like an apple in your mind? Mm-hmm. Like, have, have you guys ever thought about the way things appear in your mind? And how yeah. they, things appear differently to other people in their minds? No. Yeah, four is nuts, dude. Five? That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Yo, like some sometimes I'm a five. Like I'm a two. Some, sometimes I'm a one. Like I'm a two. Like sometimes I I can conceptualize, but I don't visualize. Uh, yeah, it just depends on when you need to use it. I don't think it's something like it has something to do with neurodivergence in your brain. Yeah, everything's neurodivergency uh, and uh, shit. <clears throat> no, I mean I wasn't really so honing on that part. Just the the visualization aspect in general. Like, how do you imagine things? It depends. Yeah. Sometimes you picture, and sometimes you do it with words. I think five is you think in words, and one is you think visually. Two through four is just fucking garbage. <laughs> four is crazy. Might as well be five. Three is like, oh, I think I come in the fucking forties. Three is fucking Vincent Van Gogh. Four is like, I think in watercolor. It's like, yo, you're gonna upset some fours, dog. Chill. What? Fine, then he's Edgar Allan Poe. You're going <laughs> to upset some fours. You're talking about the fours, dog. Yeah, it's because my neurodivergence, bro. Next fucking slide, dog. <laughs> this picture on mushrooms would break me. This guy created Isotope <laughs> RX. <laughs> I can hear your nightmare. <laughs> Matt, do you know what Isotope RX is? <laughs> That's some audio shit, right? It's yeah. a mastering like, plug in. It's a plug in. Doctor He's like Charles Xavier, but with ears. <laughs> oh, man. Ch- Charles I- Xavier. Xavier. <laughs> Xavier. 
fitted sheet being taken out of the dryer like I have a secret. And the secret is your wet laundry wound up in it. Yo, you got to You got to Yo, you got to act it out properly. You got to be like, I have a secret. Can't just can't just read everything. Fitted sheet in being same, taken out of jar. Tone, bro. Yeah, this is how. He, this is. Can you see my face? Can you see my face? No, but I can visualize it in my right, mind. Look, look, all right, look. This is this it's is like, Sean at work. So your reading face it. in my mind is like a three. Fitted, it's like a three right now. Fitted sheet being taken out of the driver. I have a secret. <laughs> <laughs> what? I can hate you. And the secret is y- your wet laundry won't open the room. <laughs> you having a good day? Yeah. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's what? so abrupt. So <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's a really good shot in person. Yeah. In person? In person. In, in Persian. In Persian with the. In Persian. Uh, what is that? What was it? Uh, gnarling? Gnarling? Charling? Snarling? Calling someone... Soaking? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Calling someone unconventionally attractive is so funny. Like, yeah, you're kind of busted, but I can bravely see the beauty in you due to my open mind. Yeah. Tough crowd. <laughs> unconventionally beautiful? I usually say I love... Uh, I love their imperfections. I like, you know, like thick eyebrows. The things that are I usually make li- them different is what makes them beautiful. I usually say I like medium ugly. Nice, dude. You really know how to work the room. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take the bottom. I'll let one of you guys finish it up. All right. I just paid eighteen seventy five for a cookie. It was seventeen seventy five last month and fifteen seventy five in late December. Before you became president, it was three seventy five. Fuck it, let's rev up inflammation and see how much this dipshit <laughs> will pay for a fucking cookie. You just said inflammation. <laughs> Infla- oh, I said inflation. You said inflammation. <laughs> Yo, you said it so sincerely too. You're like, let's rev up inflammation. Like you're the fucking president in Osmosis Jones. Let's rev up the inflammation. <laughs> For real, dude's paying 20 bucks for a cookie. That must be a night owl cookie. It's a big ass cookie. Yo, what's up with Subway getting the foot long cookies now, bro? We got to try it. Let me try this one. Wait, all right, wait, wait, I got wait. this. You want to know what's up with Subway? Sub, sub, yeah, they bought Subway. Auntie Anne's or whatever. Yeah, you saw that video too about the Monopoly, the fast food restaurant. Yep. Okay. We saw the same video. All right. Kids in Berlin, 2004. <laughs> <laughs> Kid in Berlin, two thousand twenty forty. <laughs> Yo, man, just let me fucking read it. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> he's going to say, I'm the child of <laughs> inflation. It's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy that the title screen was memes of the week, a.k.a. Carlos <laughs> learning to read. <laughs> Kid in Berlin, 2040. I'm the child of... <laughs> the child of poor immigrants we were very poor in 2013 my parents left their home country in melbourne in search of a more authentic <laughs> parties and cheaper k they never learned the language and spent 30 years working in cafes i someday hope to be a doctor what <sighs> yeah it's not just me all right more authentic parties and cheaper k ketamine yeah Obviously, now he's talking about uh, parties in Berlin. Oh, my God. You guys are <laughs> fucking... You don't understand this level of humor, dog. Not going to stop going until my driveway <laughs> looks like this. <laughs> Tough. Just hella PT cruisers. That's I, a nice color. I honestly can't tell if this is Photoshopped or real or not. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what's funny to me It'd about it. would be fucking crazy. Is it that real. it might be real. <laughs> <laughs> he talks to the HOA every month like hey listen uh I know it's only allowed for three cars parked in the driveway but I got seven PT cruisers <laughs> nah but that's like yo something. fucking that's- Southern Pennsylvania that's the fucking PT car club they meet once a month nice at his house nice it's a fleet <sighs> <laughs> Proud white 
Come stain man. Build the cum. Come on it. Snowflake. Come and crank it. Piss in my ass. <laughs> Get off my ass or feel cum. <laughs> <laughs> Patriots unite! It's wait, time wait, wait. to fart on my balls. No, Where'd you get Phil no, from? Let him go. Let him go. No get off my ass, or I'll come. Patriots <laughs> unite! Or it's time to fart on my balls. God bless. Come. Step aside, girls. The fem boys are back. <laughs> Liberalism is a cum disorder. Blue comes matter. <laughs> but but cum. <laughs> is that but cum. that can't be real, bro? <laughs> Yo, just like the last one, I don't know. It could be real. It could be Photoshop. I can't really tell. Build the cum. <laughs> Build the wall. All right, who, who wants can, to be I green? I can't even read that shit. I'll be the green bubbles. All right, I'll be gray. Do you like chicken? No. Do you like curry? Sorry. No. You won't like what I did. Did you make chicken curry for me? <laughs> no, I fucked your sister. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> but you can't do this to me. But he did. What does it look like the dog's I'm scared. Head? I'm scared to do it. All right. You got this. T- t- told, told, <laughs> uh, told my dog to stop licking the floor, and he replied, Criticism like rain it may dampen the spirit, yet. The s- from such for- showers, the soul's garden <laughs> blooms every ever brighter. Oh, that, that was kind of rough. <laughs> Criticism like rain may dampen the spirit, yet from such showers, the soul's garden blooms ever brighter. There you go. Nice, baby. I can do it. I have a gut feeling that yelling at service workers will bring my wife back. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Just keep on doing it. But make sure to tip. Have you practiced this yet? Nah, if I don't tip, it'll definitely bring her back, dude. So I don't understand. To shit in your bathroom, I have to buy food? I don't understand that. Why can't I just take a shit in your bathroom? It's Taco Bell. People could just come here to shit. Is that subliminal? At least they didn't give you nine cheesy roll-ups. What are you doing in this situation? Be on, be on my unhand me shit, my back foul beast bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Did I do good? Who keeps building websites for restaurants that have everything but the hours and menu? I don't care that Chef Andy uses Midwestern flair. For real, bro. That shit really hit, dude, because I've seen that. Yo, Sean wasn't even acting. That really came from a genuine place. Yeah, man. Date night, and you're trying to find a nice little local spot, and you find the website, and it's just like hours, or not even the hours. Boo! (laughs) (laughs) Not all your life decisions have to be smart. Some can be purely for cinematic value. Nice. That one's an oldie but goodie. Yeah, but that's like some fucking um, main character syndrome some shit. Some fucking white girl shit. But it's like, yo, should I go home? Yeah, have people. Or should I fucking further the plot? When people dance, so they're like, they're in a music video or something, I get angry. <laughs> <laughs> You're a punk dude over 30. Choose your path. CrossFit, barbershop, culture, craft beer, MMA, Facebook rants, enamel pins, Tinder creeping. What's enamel pins? Like the pins, like pin, collecting pins. Made out of enamel. Metal. The fuck? Enamel. Is that a president? <laughs> Enamuel Washington? <laughs> <laughs> Enamuel. Benjamin Blinkerton. Looking at LinkedIn makes me feel like I'm losing my grip on reality. What the fuck do you mean you have a passion for audience segmentation? What the fuck is audience segmentation? I have no clue. (laughs) You want me to look it up? No. Okay. Fuck that word, phrase. I love hanging out in groups of three. Because then I can go... 
nonverbal, and they entertain each other while I look at a tree or sun. That's the best part about this podcast. <laughs> <sighs> Nice, dude. Big booty dwarf with barbecue <laughs> sauce on the titties. Oh, shit. The same Google. Ah, <coughs> big booty dwarf with barbecue sauce on the titties. Oh, oh shit. shit. The same Google. Oh, that shit hard. The hottest foreplay dirty talk you can do is tell a girl that you're hard for the first time ever. And it's scaring you. <laughs> and you start <laughs> screaming. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? It hurts. Ah! <laughs> I like how they capitalize the H. <laughs> Never sinking my contacts to TikTok ever again. Helen and Hotties. You may know John, di driving instructor. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? Yo, you know it's true that guys be running pages like that. Yeah, and the, and they be talking to dudes. Yeah, on OnlyFans. <laughs> oh no, man, that's fucking sick. I mean, awesome, not like gross or anything. <laughs> got, got got a meatloaf flavored vape from Goodwill, and now my arms will bend. <laughs> wait, 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 let me do it one more time. Got got a meatloaf flavored vape from Goodwill. Now my arms won't bend. Mm -hmm. Got me a meatloaf flavored bait from Goodwill over yonder, and now my damn arms won't bend. <laughs> oh, I'm wait. trying to just eat me a gosh darn base trigger. Spend me, <laughs> spend me about oh, five dollars on it. Holy shit, bro! <laughs> Yo, I just happened to see this because I was talking about this the other day. I remember. I when they first dropped the beefy fire layer burrito and it was 89 cents dude because i used to eat it every day I dude was that shit was 89 cents for like a decade i, I was in no it was really like three years cheesy bean and rice in, burrito was my i jam. was in high school and i would eat taco bell every single day i would get that the 89 cent burrito was clutch dude because i could fucking and he's still here <laughs> i could fucking afford it and i could get like two of them if be fucking full yeah good old days damn that shit is six bucks now that's crazy yeah I'll, I'll never get one again i don't eat there i haven't eaten there in a long time good for you bro i think the last time i ate there you gave me something from there <laughs> Gonorrhea That's probably what he gave you he Gave you the fucking clap Yo <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Nice dude <laughs> How would you hurt Yeah Yeah yeah, yeah, right. Is it how? Uh, what are we at? Yo, don't complain, bro. Damn, he hit the haven't you heard? He's tired, bro. Haven't you heard? I'm sleepy. There ain't enough birds. They're going extinct. Oh, it has to be a from, 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 from the sky. She gets so real, she gets so real. Haven't you heard? There ain't enough words to say how I feel. She gets so real, she gets so real.
is so real. Shit is so real. I gotta take a fucking doo doo. Ah, the big guy gang man. I love that dun 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 at the end. Yeah, I love you. Oh! Big man, cake man.